Okay, let's go over a week six, week six assignment. Uh, master detail. Uh, I'm going to create a master detail iPad project based off the in-class assignment exercise. Needs at least ten photos. Uh, it's going to when it's finished, you'll be able to show it in portrait and landscape both. You'll add needed code and submit to GitHub when you're finished. Challenges for app icons, uh, to add app icons. This uh, podcast is just going to show you how to create the app. We do have a note up here that says see source code. Follow instructions on the readme.md file. And that's this file right here. So I'm going to create one off the end class just to show you uh, how it works. So first I'm going to create a master detail iPad project. No core data, and then delete the label from detail view. So in Xcode, I'm going to file new project, master detail application. Next, I'll call up my bands, my name there for organization name. Uh, Identifier edu.rockvalleycollege.edu Swift language iPad and everything down here is unchecked. Next, I'm going to select desktop to save it at. Make sure create git is unchecked. Click create. And the first thing I have to do is go to the um, main.storyboard so we can get to the detail view and you'll notice in the detail view there's a label we'll tap on the label and delete it tells us to also go and uh, add a UI image to the detail view make sure it's aspect aspect fit we'll create an outlet called product image name I'm going to go ahead and highlight that so I'll get the right name We'll scroll down and find a UI image view. We'll make sure and stretch it out to be as big as the detail view. We will change over here in the properties of this uh, an attribute inspector property. Change it from scale to fill to aspect fit. Let's do a command S to save. And we're going to create an outlet called product image view. I'm going to go ahead and collapse this outline here real quick so we can see more of it. I'm going to click on the assistant editor. Control click and drag that UI view into the detail view controller code. I'm going to put right underneath this label here. Release it. Go product image view and click connect. Next, I'm going to add some images uh, into a group named images that you downloaded for your preparation. Right-click on the product project name, new group. I'm gonna name it images. I'm gonna right-click, add files to my bands. I'm gonna go out to 
where my images are and select the name of my bands. And my main page, and then click Add. Let's make sure they're showing up okay here. Good. Command S, save what we've done so far. All right, uh, as I've done number four, number five, now we're going to go into the instructions part on the master view, controller.swift.txt, and the detail viewer, .swift control dot text that's found in the repo here I'm going to start with the master detail view and there's comments in here I'm just going to start out with following the instructions as it says here it says here to ignore all errors on the page will go away when you change things in detail view controller so number one I'm going to comment out the very objects line go back to my code and there's a very object line I'm actually going to put that comment in there so I'll know I've done it number two I'm going to create a, a new MS mutable array for my bands number three I'm going to comment out the edit button. It's actually here in the view did load. Before I'm going to comment out the uh, or populate the array of the bands and all the images. you'll populate it with the list of array of your band or your images or your array whatever it might be and all mine and with a jpg just make sure the names here match your array name for your images number five comment out the uh, add button which is two lines collapse this and click on detail view or standard error so I can see it better so basically uh, these two lines here I'm going to comment out the command and forward slash button will allow you to comment out things easier you just use a keyboard command if you want number six I'm going to add a title to my app my favorite bands underneath this line number seven I'm going to comment out the insert function so let's find that there it is right here select all of it command forward slash Number eight, I'm going to replace um, objects with list array and NS date with NSS string. So inside this prepare for segue function, replace objects with list array and NS date with NSS string. Number nine, I'm going to add two lines of code to populate the name and URL, and we're going to ignore the error lines. I'm going to be doing a command S as you're along here. Number 10, I'm going to uh, Add a hide menu after tap. This is after the last control dot navigation dot item equals true. 
Again, we're ignoring error lines, remember, as we go along here. If there is an error, which there will be, because we've not yet finished the code. Number 11, we're going to comment out return objects and add in list array count inside of the first table view. Thirteen, we're going to replace uh, objects with list array and it NS date with NSS string. Fourteen, we're going to comment out the override function table view. This is to allow to edit the menu. I just did a command greater than some or command uh, forward slash to do that. And lastly, we're going to comment out the override uh, table view for editing as well. Then after the last uh, right bracket, we're going to add in this extension. UI split view controller. So after the last bracket, put that in. This is going to allow us to use uh, the focus, change the focus. So we're done with the main or master view controller. Now let's go to the detail view controller. And let's go back to the code for that. Uh, there it is. And with the comments, starting with comment. First comment, ignore errors until you've completed code for the detail view controller. So number one, we're going to comment out the, de the description label I, we deleted. Comment that out. Number two, we're going to comment out the self.config view inside of this detail, fair detail view. So see your errors will go, start going away now on number three here. We're gonna add a did set for production. We're also gonna add a did set for product URL. We're going to modify the config view or ignore any error warnings. Now the easiest way to do that, we're just going to copy this if this whole statement within the left and right bracket. We're going to copy all the code here, which is basically going to allow us to begin passing the image over. Number six, we're going to modify the view did load. Also here, I may mention to ignore any warnings that might come up as well. And that's a warning we're going to ignore. We're not going to change anything there. Again, we're going to copy within the left and right bracket the code here for the view did load. Number seven, now we're ready to second strain. So we're going to click on the view, view controller in the title bar of, in the storyboard uh, until the yellow circle is highlighted. And then we'll select from the menu, editor, resolve layout issues, and reset to construct con suggested constraints. So let's click on storyboard. Click on the title of the detail view. Editor, resolve auto layout issues. Reset to constraint, suggested constraints, command S. Then, C, 
save it, which I did that already, and then compile it, Command R, and then we'll test it. Let's go and compile it in uh, iPad 2, just to be less cumbersome on resources. Go Command S and then Command R. Let's see here what we failed here. Okay, it looks like the problem is right here. This was controller product name and URL should have been added after the controller line. And that was in the instructions here. The two lines were to be added after the let controller line. So I'll move that. And let's command S, command R. Okay, there's a splash screen. Click through the images and then go to Hardware menu on the on the simulator, rotate left. Hardware menu, rotate right. And that's how to complete the master detail viewer. It allows a uh, rotation between landscape and portrait.